In the mid-1990s, Gary and Marilyn Skinner established Watoto in Uganda's capital city, Kampala, to provide holistic care to women and children in the community who had been adversely affected by the country's HIV-AIDS epidemic. Watoto Church has developed numerous children's villages to provide physical, emotional, and spiritual care to these widows and orphans. The church doesn't have a short-term goal. The church is here to stay. The community trusts us that we are here with them for life. The mission of Watoto is to raise the next generation of Ugandan leaders. And in doing that, we make sure that we are pursuing excellence in academic and practical skills. We want to raise uh, in this, each of these children uh, uh, integrity in conduct and moral values so that each one of them becomes a responsible citizen and a productive uh, citizen of Uganda. Watoto's children's villages are providing a place where orphans of AIDS and war can be given a second chance in life. Each village includes a safe community of single-family dwellings where eight children live together with an adopted mother, usually a widow herself. The village school offers the children a thorough education, either formal or technical, to equip them for a successful and influential future as leaders of their country. Watoto's approach is intended to be comprehensive in meeting the physical, emotional, and spiritual needs of Uganda's most vulnerable orphans and widows in a place that they can call home. Right now, I have a mother in a house. I have everything I want. If I ask them that I am angry, they give me food, they give me clothing, they give me shoes. Life in school right now is going so, so, so well, and I have done examination so, so good, and I'm going to be the first position in class. I want to become an engineer. I hope I will make it. I need not to think for myself alone. I need to think about people also. I, what I need is to create jobs for people who did not have time to go to school. If I can give some work, give them skill, they can use their hand, their free hand. They will be skilled men, skilled ladies, and we are going to develop the country. If I grow up and I get married, I have children, I have my grandson, grandchildren, I will leave the family up, a pay plus the community. Now this is my time to be the example to them so that they know if you just be there idle, you will never make anything. But if you put your mind in thought, you know who, what and why, you can achieve what you want to be.